Mic check, mic check, mic check. Are you feeling rizzed? Yeah, let's do it. You ready? Joe? Yes. What is that? That is a DJI Air 2S. I've had it for about a year now. And uh, yeah, great little drone. Do you think it's time we upgrade? Because that's quite old now, isn't are, it? Are you offering me a new drone? I actually am. Okay. Are you ready for this one? I don't know. What? I, I have no idea what, what you're on about. Are you sure? Yeah. I think you might like this, to be fair. Yeah. Where the hell have you got that? Just give me the post now. DJI sent us that. Uh, no, we have to pay for this ourselves. Using whose money? <laughs> but DJI, if you're watching this, please sponsor us. For the next video. The next video. <laughs> Send us the next drone. <laughs> please. But what if I said to you, Joe, this one drone could replace not only that drone, but also a lot of cameras in your kit bag? Uh, I'm not sure about that. Are you sure? Yeah, I like my Sony camera. Okay. Shall we get unboxing this and let's tell people why they should buy the DJI Mavic 4 Pro. Time to sack this off. What do you reckon? Yep. And that. Get, get rid of that one as well. I don't need that. That's like a toy now. Right. Come in. Right. So, Joe, what if one drone yeah. could replace every single thing in your kit bag? I think that's a bit far-fetched because sometimes it's nice to have cameras on the ground as well. Yeah. Uh, as well as in the sky. But this is the DJI Mavic 4 Pro Creator Combo. And it's a serious drone for serious creators. Agreed. It's DJI's most advanced prosumer drone yet. And before we get started, no, this video is not sponsored by DJI, as I've just <laughs> discovered. Yep. Uh, we paid full RRP here in the UK for this because we wanted to get an unboxing video together for you guys ASAP. Yeah, and talking about RRP, this kit is over three grand, but more on the cost later. It's a shocker because there are a few high-end features that you only get on the Creator Combo. So let's unbox it and see if it really earns its place in the professional photographer's kit bag. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit uh, <laughs> underwhelming. That was very underwhelming. DJI, what is the purpose of that? Do you want to have a pop? Oh, go on, let's do it together. Yeah. Teamwork. Ooh. Teamwork. It's like Christmas, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> a very expensive <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> very expensive. So, do you know what, Joe? I quite like the packaging on this. Yeah, it's nicely done. Yeah, it is. It's classic DJI. Central product placement on the front. Yeah. You see it on the shop shelves, makes you want to buy it. Yeah. Different viewpoint on the back, super clean. It's very Apple. I was literally about to say it's very Apple-esque, isn't it? Yeah. But you know what? Apple know how to make packaging and it works. Yeah, it works. So let's figure out how we... Um... I think it's in that's going to lift up there at the top. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So as soon as you open up the box, you got a QR code there. Ooh, what's which... that for? Does it say? Scan the QR code using smartphone before first use to watch video tutorials. Do we need that? Yeah, maybe we'll make some video tutorials as well. Yeah, I think we will see. Get subscribed so you can watch those later. <laughs> Absolutely. So, oh, it's quite a heavy um, kit like that. Thank you. So straight off then, inside we've got this nice little heavy duty um, storage bag. I, really. I do like DJI's bags, they are nice. Yeah, got a little um, shoulder strap there. I feel very premium. It's extremely premium, isn't it? Yeah, little tag. Cool, cool. All right. People don't really care about bags anyway, do they? Let's just get it open. So straight out of the bag is the drone itself. I'm going to be very cautious with this because, it, you know, it's extremely expensive. So. We could have made some ASMR from that, couldn't we? Probably. It's too late now. <laughs> it's way too late. You only sure. get one unboxing. Sure, it's, it's, it's very light, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. But again, typical DJI, it comes like fully compact with its um, well, that's surprising. Yeah. That's a lot lighter than, because I've operated a Mavic 3 Cine mm -hmm. before, and that that was a lot heavier than this. That's yeah, wild. That's Although, good. there isn't a battery in it. No, not yet. Yet. But, you know, it's, it's really nice, isn't it? I like how they've got this sort of lens cap cover. Yeah. Again, same as on the, the 3 Pro and 3 Cine. It basically holds the gimbal all in place, so it's not going to get knocked when you're carrying it around. Yeah. And next up, we've got the 3 uh, battery bank charger so nice and quick to um, exchange your batteries you can chat about batteries mate i want to see what this is all about yeah <laughs> you get those in the creator combo whereas if you just buy the basic kit you only get one battery i believe yeah next is spare propellers hopefully we won't be needing those <laughs> hopefully not and then next is the uh, there, masterpiece and this is the controller yeah, this i'm very excited to see yes for sure again compared to what i had with the the 2s <laughs> You've got to, plug your, old, step up, got to plug your iPhone into the top of it. So, as a comparison point. 
It looks like just a screen, doesn't it? Yeah, it's mad. But I think if you, is it? So it, it tilts upwards. Yeah. Mate, that's, that's, that's sick. That's sick. And the propellers are built in so you don't have to faff around with taking them out of the bottom of the controller and screwing them in. I mean, setup, like I can't, you know, you've really got to, so setup time when you get onto, do you see what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's a faff. Yeah, whereas this, it's, it's, it's already done. Yeah, yeah, you're done, you're ready to go, built in screen, whereas I've got to start plugging in an iPhone in here, wiring it in, yeah, it's a faff. Yeah, I ain't got time for that anymore. What else have we got in this kit bag? Bloody hell, DJR do spoil you, don't they? This goes into nine by 16 mode. Ooh. So we'll talk a little bit about that shortly. Yes. And then you just got your, your, your power really adapters. So we don't really need to go into them, do we? Well, that's bloody hell. What else have we got? Gift that keeps on giving. USB-C cable. Yeah, now, interesting. This, I suspect, is going to be a very high bandwidth cable because of the bit rate that's in this thing, mm -hmm. which we will come on to later because it is no joke. <laughs> so keep that safe because you're going to need it. It's mega, isn't it? bit rate. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Uh, next thing we have is the power, power, adapter. power adapter. So, Joe, that's everything from within the box. Yes. Shall we get rolling? Yeah, but before we do that, I spent a lot of time and effort making a beautiful frame. So can you get rid of that bag? Because it's... Uh... <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Much better. Cool. So right out of the box, and Joe, we've got the drone itself. Yeah. Uh, classic DJI, folded design, still compact enough to travel. So when you go on your honeymoon, mate, you can still take this with you, especially because... You're going to let me take this with me? If you want to. No way. I mean, you can also take the batteries with you because I believe they're 900... No, 9,000 milliamp, I think. So you can still take them through the airport with you. Look at that, it turns on automatically when you... Oh, that's cool. I love that. I'm going to get back to the batteries now. Yeah, you can talk more about the batteries. Because um, they're... I don't know the exact capacity, is it? I, th I want to say 9,000 milliamp, but I might be wrong. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, but basically you can... low enough to travel. Exactly, yeah. Um, but now you've opened it up, it looks mean, doesn't it? You know, it's definitely got presence, and that's what I really, really like about it. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah, I mean, let me just get that. This is also the DJI RC Pro 2 controller. Mate, look at that. It's no joke, is it? I mean, no. you've got a built-in 1,600 nit display, which has a peak brightness of 2,000 nits, full HD, so it'll be fantastic out in direct sunlight. Good. No faffing around with your phone, trying to plug it into the back <laughs> of the, the remote, and then you've left the cable at home. Yeah. No, it just, straight out of the box, it just works. Yeah, and also, Joe, you've got HDMI. Full-size HDMI. Full-size output, uh, so it means you can live stream to a monitor and um, on an external screen, record it or plug it into a broadcast setup. You've also got USB-C, an SD card slot and loads of physical controls. It just feels nice and premium, doesn't it? What's not so premium though is, uh, Damn. doesn't that sound a bit like dial-up? It's been, right. for anyone watching who's <laughs> old enough to remember what dial-up is. It's been, been doing that for about an hour now. <laughs> it is built like a tank too. I mean, it feels really, this feels so much nicer than the, the, the old controller that I was used to. It's like a proper command center for your drone. Yeah, Very and cool. the fact that you don't have to put in... Oh, the joysticks as well. Yeah, like we showed you in the intro. Yeah. Also included are two extra batteries, a triple fast charging hub, all the props and cables, which hopefully, Joe, we won't need this time. Yeah, have I ever told you about the time I lost a Phantom 4 Pro a, down in... A Phantom 4 Pro? Yeah, a Phantom 4 Pro down in uh, Old Harry's Rocks. It's like, Sorry. it's like the south of England. It's like a very picturesque place on the coast. Okay. Uh, yeah, flew it into some trees and it took two and a half hours to recover it. But we did recover it. And I was living in Kuwait at the time and DJI Kuwait very kindly repaired it for me. And you want to fly this three grand drone? Mm hmm Good job we've got DJI insurance, isn't it? <laughs> Speaking of the battery charger as well, did you know that if you've got three partly charged batteries in here, yeah. you can press and hold this button on the front and it will take the power from the two lowest charged batteries and put it all into one battery. Yeah. So it combines it all into a single one and then you can fly for a little bit longer. You're joking. How, how mad is that? <laughs> Pretty smart, to be fair, Joe. Very cool. Also, because you are the camera nerd of the channel, I know this one has got, was it three lenses? So tell us more about the camera setup. Yeah, so it's a triple camera setup. The main headline feature is, of course, the three different focal lengths that you get. You're covered in pretty much any shooting scenario. Mm -hmm. Straight off the bat, all three cameras support 10-bit 422 in D-Log or D-Log-M. However, that is locked behind the Creator Combo Kit. Um, and Yeah, I know. And you have to shoot in the All Eye codec to get the 422 10-bit. Um, it's, it's the, the bit rate is insanely high. It can only be recorded to internal SSD, 
which you don't get as much on the, the standard Mavic 4 Pro. I think it's 64 gigs, whereas this is 512. Wow. And you're going to need it. <laughs> You are. <laughs> also, if you shoot anything above 1080p, you have to be in either H.265 standard at the 180 megabit per second bit rate or H.264 All I, which is a staggering 1200 megabits per second. Yeah, so get ready to buy lots of new SSDs and a new M4 Max MacBook Pro because you're going to need it with these codecs. <laughs> you are. <laughs> All right, so back to the cameras. The main wide angle camera is a Hasselblad 4 3rd sensor, which shoots at up to 100 megapixel stills and 6K video up to 60p. You've got variable aperture on this one from F2 to F11, which gives you proper depth of field control. You know, so you get like nice blurry bits in the background. That's nice. Yeah, that's not something that you'd normally see on the more entry level drones. No. You've also got a medium telephoto, so that's one over 1.3 inch, 48 megapixel sensor with a 70 mil equivalent focal length. So you know the lens that's on the Sony right now, yeah. 24-70? Yeah, it's quite large. Uh, yeah, imagine zooming it all the way in and then putting it in the sky. That's, on that. that's what you've got on the medium camera on there. That's uh, crazy. So it gives you that lovely compressed look, which is great for tracking shots. Yeah. Now the third camera, this one will surprise you. That's true telephoto and it's one over 1.5 inches with 50 megapixels and a 168 mil equivalent focal length. So Jack, do you remember from the camera gear video the other day? I do. You know that lens you picked up at the end and said, God, oh, look at the Samyang. The Sam, the Samyang, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 35 to 150. Yeah. So this is 168 mil. So it's even more zoomy than, than that lens. I can't wait to try that. Which is like this big. Jeez. Yeah. So that'll look great once it's, um, you know, for objects that it'll give you like really nice parallax effect. Oh, nice. Now you are slightly restricted in terms of what resolutions and frame rates you can shoot in. The headline 6K at 60p is limited to the main Hasselblad sensor, unfortunately, mm -hmm. with the two tele lenses being capped at 4K, the medium of which goes up to 120p, where the tele lens is limited to 4K at 100p. Also, only the main Hasselblad camera has variable aperture. Both of the others are fixed at f2.8. You've also got true 9x16 vertical video recording, so it doesn't crop in on the sensor, mm -hmm. it, it rotates the entire front of the the gimbal which is incredible wow. that's at all the same resolutions and frame rates that you get at 16 by 9 as well brilliant so yeah if uh, instagram want to start supporting 6k <laughs> reels that'd be cool yeah doubt that <laughs> but also joe did you know coming soon is an electronic nd filter uh, that's remotely controllable via the controller which means there's no more guessing your nd strength before you take off so it's going to save us an awful lot of time. You can refine and tune the exposure mid-flight, taking FX6 level features into the sky. So, it's interesting brilliant. to talk about the FX6, because, yeah, I mean, you see those contact pins there. That's where it's going to hook onto. Exactly. I mean, shooting on that camera is lovely because you don't need to worry about putting filters on the front, and especially with a drone, once yeah. it's in the sky, it's a bit of a faff, you know? It is. I mean, talking about ND filters, Joe, when, when I'm filming Joe and we've got an ND filter on, I'm asking Joe, oh, quick, come and change the ND filter. I, you know, I've either got cross polarization or yeah. I'm doing it myself and I'm doing it wrong. But with a drone, you do it all remotely. Oh, yeah. Phenomenal. And actually coming back to the FX6, this has double the bit rate of that and that's a cinema camera. <laughs> so <laughs> on a small little drone like that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's crazy. Tell me about how it flies then. Yeah, so the actual top speed this flies at, Joe, is 25 meters per second, which is around 90 kilometers per hour. Um, and it also has sport mode. So it's, it's, a, it's pretty quick. Flight time is up to 51 minutes on a single battery. I need a new presenter. <laughs> so it's 51 minutes of, of you know flight time, and that's just not DJI marketing fluff, mate. That's actual, genuinely close in real world use. Nice. So more than enough time there. Uh, and it only takes 40 minutes to charge a single battery, mm -hmm. which is brilliant, or all three of them in 90 minutes. And that's using a 240 watts. 240 um, watts. 240 watts. <laughs> that's quicker than a MacBook. <laughs> the, the MacBook's 140. <laughs> so it, it's pretty fast, isn't it? So don't go buying five of these and plugging them all into the same extension loop. <laughs> no, you probably Definitely don't do that. <laughs> it's also got level six wind resistance, so it holds, it holds its position beautifully, even in strong gusts. That's beautiful. And not out of your ass this time, Joe. 
<laughs> it'll even launch from up to 6,000 meters above sea level. That's equivalent to uh, Everest base camp. You've been up Everest? No, I, I, mate, I struggle walking up the stairs. <laughs> Everest. <laughs> so it's pretty mental. <laughs> what about the obstacle avoidance on this? Because they've done some quite impressive stuff with them, mate. Yeah, so there's a 360 degree full surround sound vision with sensors and full surround sound vision. <laughs> <laughs> so there's 360 degree full surround vision with sensors in all directions that you can actually look through on the screen. That's very cool, actually. Yeah. So if you're about, if you, if you don't know how close you are to a tree or a building or something, you can see it on there. That's mad. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, and it's also got front facing LiDAR, so it basically sees everything for you. Nice. Yeah, and even in like tight, complicated spaces, it basically means you're more more likely to get your drone back in one piece. Okay, so with the creative combo, you've got 512 gigabytes of internal SSD storage and a micro SD card slot. So that's if you choose to shoot in the standard codex, you can record to a Correct. micro SD. Okay. Yes. And 460 gigabytes of that is usable. It's formatted in XFAT. Uh, yeah. So transferring files is quick and simple. Just make sure you do remember your high bandwidth <laughs> USB-C cable because you don't want to get to the end of your shoot and not be able to get your footage. No, so you don't lose that, Joe. And do you get SSD on the standard Mavic 4 Pro? You do, but it's only, I think, 64? 64. 64 gig. 64 gig, yeah, so it's, it's all right. It's fine. Yeah, so Joe, what do you think overall then of the DJI Mavic 4 Pro? Do you reckon it's 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 worth the money? Especially the combo kit anyway. I mean, it's kind of hard to say right now considering we haven't <laughs> flown it yet. But... <laughs> I mean, we'll be using it for our upcoming videos here on Lab Bytes, uh, and our drone operator absolutely can't wait to put it through its, uh, through its paces. We will also be making a full in-depth comparison video with this versus the 2S and the 3S. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to see that. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's seriously gonna level up our you know, production value, expect some improved drone shots, hopefully whether they don't crash. Everything we shoot moving forward and definitely hit subscribe if you haven't already, so we can start getting brand deals and pay this off the company. Credit card. You put this on the company card? <laughs> I did. How have I not seen that? I, uh, <laughs> I removed the notifications. <laughs> well, saying that, Jack, now might be a good time to try and ask SanDisk to sponsor us because we're going to need a hell of a lot more storage space if you're using this on every video. <laughs> we and Apple to send us out some M4 Max MacBook Pros. I mean, you're going to need those as well <laughs> at these bit rates, really. That would be nice. It's crazy, isn't it? So what we're going to do now, we're going to take this out for a flight. Cool. And you know, hopefully in the next video, you'll see a comparison from the DJI Mavic 4 Pro combo to the, was it the Air 2? The 2S and the 3S. Yeah. So let us know in the comment section down below if you've already purchased the DJI Mavic 4 or yeah. maybe you're just looking to see whether it's worth it or not. Yeah. Or if, you know, if you've got any questions about the drone, we've, we've got it with us. We're going to be using it over the next couple of days and weeks, figuring mm -hmm. out any quirks and things that we've not been able to say today. Yeah. Um, so yeah, leave us a comment. We do read them all. Jack gets to them before <laughs> I can, so he'll he'll usually be the one replying. Oh, boy. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think let's go out and, and take it for a spin. Let's do it. But before we go, Joe, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the in next, next one. one. <laughs> Get your eyes out of my face. <laughs>